who would have thought that Leafa would be Sugu? My guess, the the things that I considered to guess what Leafa would be, I guessed it by accident because I thought when Leafa and Kirito were like talking in like the bar or some shit, and like Kirito was talking about a certain person that he's trying to save, and the way that Leafa was like reacting, I was like, oh wait, she seems to know about Asuna, and I thought that she kind of understood that this is my bigger brother, but it's like no. She doesn't fucking know, because she doesn't know who Kirito is, she knows who Kazuto is. So then she wakes up, thinking, oh my god, there's this new online boyfriend that I might like. But it's like, yo, y'all are fucking siblings! Well, they're cousins, right? So it's like, oh, oh god, how is this fucking gonna turn out? This is gonna be an absolute fucking disaster. We also saw a little bit more of the creepy motherfucker sniffing Asuna's unwashed hair. That hair has not been washed for two fucking years. He keeps sniffing it. He is Oberon of this place, right? And, you know, Asuna is like Titania, and they're fucking role-playing as the fairy king and the fairy queen, which is like so fucking cringe. You as a grown-ass man, you're fucking LARPing in a fucking video game as a fairy king, keeping this girl hostage so that you can fucking marry a fucking comatose girl. It's fucking insane. Like, Pultimas is so much better than Oberon. But hey, let's begin today's reaction. This is Suguha's room. Hello, Sugu. What do you think about your potential new boyfriend? Also crazy. Crazy that the first thing that we see when Sugu takes her headset off is her own fucking character poster. How much of a narcissist do you have to be? You are meat riding yourself. You're glazing yourself to the next level. Imagine you're sleeping, then you wake up the first thing yourself. You see? It's like yourself on the fucking roof. Like, that's crazy to me, dude. Okay. What got her to start playing though? Okay. Honestly, just based off of the flight mechanic, like a VR MMO where you can fly, I would love to play this. This would be such a fucking experience to be able to like freely fly with like a headset game. Sounds amazing. I would just spend hours just fucking flying around in this place. Well, Kirito never really flew. And what you're experiencing right now is totally different from, you know, Einkart, but I get what you're saying, Sugu. To Yggdrasil, that's the world tree. Okay. School time. Oh, 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 creepy dude. Wait, oh! <laughs> Leafa. Oh, it's our friend. Oh, man. This poor kid is gonna get cucked by Kirito. He's, he's gonna get cucked by his crutch's big brother. <laughs> he's a fucking super senior! He's a middle school super senior! Why are you here when you've already been accepted to a high school? Where's my hug? Where's, where's my hug, Leafa-chan? Huh. Alright. Not gonna lie, his voice acting just makes it sound like such a fucking bitch, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> Racist outside of the game. And why are you blushing? Dude, this guy is just so bad. <laughs> Deserve. He just straight up said, are you still sleeping in the inn with the shitty guy in the fucking, yo, in the game? Oh my god. Because, like, we technically did, like, go up, right? We had, like, a bed that we need to fall. So what's happening right now when we're sleeping? Is the bodies there? Just in the tavern bed? Or does it just, like, disappear? Wait, this is Karuizawa K's voice act? I can totally hear it. Oh, jeez! That timing! Time! That, 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 that's a line! That's a line from the anime classroom of the elite! Okay? I, I, that's a... I was referencing what Aonokoji says! Okay, he says, spread your legs! Not, not, not our little sister that's in middle school in the anime of sort of... Like, Jesus fucking Christ. What, you trying to fucking impress, you know, that, that's pretty gun? 
<laughs> what? What are you doing? All right, link start. Link start. Link start. Sylph territory. Okay. Kazuto. Wow. What? What are the odds? You just logged at the same time? Crazy. She gonna lend me some money, right? Do we have money, or is she gonna is she gonna be our sugar mommy? We're broke. Yui sleeps too. Yui's a fucking data pixie. What does Yui do when we're asleep? I guess Yui just naps, virtual naps. All right, casual slice of life date episode with our little sister in a video game. You know, we're Kazuto. Sorry, <laughs> Kirito, not Kazuto. Don't get too attached now. <laughs> Extra altitude, because like you have a limited amount of stamina. So the higher the l that's how we should do it. We should just create a launch pad that's so fucking high up that it can reach the world tree without having to use our stamina. That is the solution. Is that not? What Leafa just said now makes total sense. Use it as a launching pad, so you reserve the stamina. And then that distance of the launch pad, that's extra flight distance that you can do. So is this how we reach to the top? Then again... What is this, a fucking elevator? Oh, that's the guy that our friend was talking about. Find someone else, sounds like your problem. I don't like Mr. Sigurd. Okay. I got a crush on my virtual video game boyfriend who's my brother. I want to leave. Oh, oh, Riz moment? Women aren't your property? Wait, wait. Oh shit. I mean, Leaf is gonna fold even more if he witnesses this. Racist! I mean, Leaf is gonna fold even more if he witnesses this. Racist! I mean, Leaf is gonna fold even more if he witnesses this. Racist! I mean, Leaf is gonna fold even more if he witnesses this. Racist! It's crazy how immersed they are into the fucking game. Leafa, do you intend to abandon your home territory of the Sylphs and become a renegade too? It's like, bro, the, the level of immersion and roleplay that they're doing right now is fucking crazy. So, yeah, I'm leaving. I Fuck you. <laughs> it's a roleplay server, dude. <laughs> Nonchalantly waltz. <laughs> Duel him. <laughs> Starburst stream. I forgot the fucking name. Starburst stream. Is he our temporary antagonist? Maybe we will have to fight him later. What a creepy motherfucker, dude. It's just so mad and upset that Leafa left the party. It's like fucking type in world chat looking for one party member. You get like 10 fucking invitations, bro. Holy shit. I don't know. And the roleplay also is so crazy. They're so immersed into the game. I bet they're having the best time of their fucking lives, bro. Abandon <laughs> your home territory. Who cares, bro? It's a game. Okay. She could not care any less about those teammates, bro. They're renegades. They're like outlaws. They're the, they're the fucking Akatsuki, dude. Tie themselves down like that. Hmm. But isn't she the one tying herself down to her fucking older brother? That she doesn't know, know about yet? Hmm? Love? Leaf is getting cucked by this fucking 2D pixie who's probably Kaiba still. Kaiba wanted a kiss. Give me a little chew. <laughs> the way that he just like manhandled you, he did. He just <laughs> back in here. <laughs> yes, longing for your older brother. Oh god, dude. This guy is the worst. Yep. They'll probably leave to chase after Leafa. 
<laughs> what is this, Leafa's fucking white knight? I wield this blade for none other than you after all. I am your private knight. Yeah, we don't need it. We don't fucking need it, bro. Look at that tiny ass blade, bro. It's a fucking fruit cutting blade. You can look at Kirito. Kirito seems to have a pretty big sword today, huh? Uh, sorry, um, this, uh, this like season, huh? Cause like before he used to have like pretty nimble agile sword. This is like a fucking almost like a medium great sword, huh? But <laughs> a little little cutting knife, dude. Look at this shit, dude. Naturally. Ugh. What? She's my what? Fucking what? what? What is she to you, bro? He has no idea that Leafa doesn't even see her like that. Like, oh my god, dude. Bye-bye. Just leaves him. Just fucking leaves him. <laughs> you know how he feels? How? Leafa definitely crushing on Kirito. Is it gonna happen before or after she realizes that Kirito is her older brother? Oh my god, this is actually building up towards something insane. Oh, Asna. Titania. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> You're such a fucking creep, dude! <laughs> She's saving herself for Kirito. Get off of her! Don't taint my soul! That's right! Balls deep 69 and Tiffany! That's who's coming for Asna! Yeah, it's Kirito. Yeah, it's Kirito. Probably. Kirigaya Kazuto. Isn't that surprising to you? I guess it's its first anime, you know, because like a bunch of anime being saved by fucking high school students in Japan is always the theme. Why would he tell her this? He's giving her hope. False hope? Because this makes Asuna hopeful, right? Oh, he's being cocky. Isn't he like the fucking lead, like, GM? Shouldn't he be, I don't know, could he not like do a quick search of the users and like, oh shit, there's a new player called Kirito. Gee, I wonder who that is. Those bros gonna get caught off guard? Like, holy shit, why the fuck are you in this game? Wedding dress. <laughs> He's such a fucking creep, but the voice acting is too fucking good. Kirito <laughs> He's coming, that's right. You know, she was peeking at the password number here last episode, right? See the password again. See, she's looking. You can't really see it, but she's like memorizing the patterns. I think she memorized the pattern and she fucking gets out of here. And then like Kirito, and then he's got to like stop her. And then maybe that's when Kirito comes and saves her, right? He's memorizing the code. Oh, oh, eight, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The code. The code. Big brain. The soundtrack is going so crazy hunting random mobs. Damn, Leafa. What a gamer. All right, we're trying to get to the base of the tree, right? We're trying to get to the base of the tree, the industrial tree, right? That seemed important. What is it? Wait, wait, wait. What mechanic was that? Rotate. Neutral region because PvP? It's like the sleeping mechanic of how people can, you know, initiate the PvP when you're sleeping. So you gotta protect people or some shit. Is she just gonna go take a 20 minute shit break? Does she gotta fucking take a shit? What's going on? And she back. 
Link end. Go up to your brother's room and check what he's doing right now. And if he's in the nerve gear, what would she think? She can't deduce that it is Kirito that the brother, but it would kind of start connecting the dots, right? Big bro, what are you doing? Oh, oh. oh right. Okay. Open the door. Maybe he's gaming. Hmm? You're so close to the truth. You're so close to the truth. Come on. Ah, suk. Fine, make me a fucking sandwich. Wonder whose sandwich is better? Sugu's or Asuna's? Probably Sugu, because Asuna's cooking was not fucking cooking. That's some bullshit, dude. Smithing and the cooking and fucking started online. You chop all the ingredients. Chop all the ingredients. Nah, Sugu's cooking is probably better. What? Ex excited? Waku waku? Waku waku? What? I get it to Kazuto. But she's really falling for Kazuto, huh? Oh my god! Okay, it's not like I'm gonna like him. Okay. But what is it? Cope. Cope. Sugo Kirito Gia. Kirito Gia. Indirect kiss. Indirect kiss. Lick it. Oh, you fucking. <laughs> Does this count as incestual indirect kiss now? But it's a video game. Right? Doesn't. How does that. Well. This is getting tricky. Because, like. If you were to kiss someone in game, does it count as kissing someone outside of the game? I don't really know. Not really, right? Yes and no. I mean, at the end of the day, you're still doing the act. It just happens to be in a video game. Would you? Would, then, then this, then, then this um comes to the question: Is Kirito still a virgin? Would you count, you know, in part one of season one, Kirito fucking Asuna in the video game? Does that count? Is he a virgin or not? It's in a video game. So yes, he is still a virgin, right? And he killed people in a video game. Did he murder them? It's a video game. So if it's a video game, you can just do whatever you want. It's a mental experience, not physically. Now we're separating the two. Now it's all about, now we're differentiating in character and, and, and describing and identifying what it means, what is real and what's not real, physical and mental. So Kirito is physically a virgin, but mentally he's not a virgin. <laughs> what does that even mean? What does that even mean? <laughs> right. Now Kirito knock on Sugu's door, and Kirito ask, "What do you? What game are you playing?" <laughs> Sugu definitely was trying to do something sus there. He was like, "You still awake?" <laughs> <laughs> papa. Because it's Papa. Because I got a mama and a papa. No, 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 no. It's not weird like that. Suku should ask then who's mama. Because she doesn't know who Asuna is yet. Ah. Uh, I guess AI doesn't understand that. Doki doki waku waku. Ah. Yes, that kind of feeling. <laughs> Immediately thought about Big Brother. <laughs> Nothing. Don't chill. Interesting how Leafa still doesn't really question who Mama could be. I guess she's kind of connecting the dots because it's like if Kirito's trying to save somebody, right? Then it's got to be Mama, right? Surprised she hasn't really asked. The sandwich that Sugu gave to Kirito just now after the break. Damn. What? Potimas? Sigurd! Sigurd! Potimas or Sigurd? I keep saying Potimas, that's Oberon. This art is great. Wow. Better in CGI. 
Is it ending already? What the fuck? Jesus, today's episode was short. Oh, oh, the trace, the trace. It's red. Red elves? Okay. Wait. Remember, uh, who, who was they? Uh, fucking, uh, I, I don't know. When I, when, when I saw these people, they remind me of, uh, 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 fuck. The, the laughing, laughing coffin, laughing coffin. But it's probably not laughing coffin, right? It'd be hilarious if the laughing coffin decided to play this game and start to, you know, fucking roleplay this game with a laughing coffin. <laughs> and that's it. That's right, they would be called Roleplay Coffin, not Laughing Coffin, but this, that's, that's today's episode. What was today's episode? I think one of the most important things was talking about the existence of a launch pad that lets you f take flight so that you can go extend it further because obviously there's a duration of the launch pad that you're saving the stamina of, right? Sigurd, who seems to be very, very... What's the word? Protective? Creepy. Bro's fucking a creep. He's like, Leafa, you dare leave our land of the sylphs? You're gonna be a renegade and betray our race? I'm like, bro, the roleplay server is crazy. I can honestly respect the amount of roleplay dedication they have right now. Not even breaking character. And basically more of Sugu and Kirito. And it's like, fuck. Leafa still don't know that Kirito is Kazuto. And like, I don't know when this revelation is gonna happen, but we're building up towards something really messy. What is she gonna think when she realizes that the person that she loved was her fucking big brother? And especially when Asuna's there too, because Mama, Papa, Yui, like... Leafa might get cucked to another fucking dimension at this rate, and you know what? I'm all for this fucking train wreck of a season, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.